Hey everyone, Reed here. Today, I'd like to show you how to create the appearance of a dynamic title in a chart that lets you change the number of days being fed into a rolling average DAX measure. We'll accomplish this using a what if parameter, slicer, and some clever design magic. The result will look like what you see here. So let's get started. So to give you some context, this chart that's down here has this little box over in the corner. Now if I go in here and actually type into this, let's see I add an 8 instead of 15, you notice how the value changes. I can put in 45 and that changes the number again. So this is a slicer that I've shrunk down with a what if scenario that allows me to do this dynamic toggling and adjust what the window is for that rolling average. And that's what I'm going to show you how to make. How to kind of layer some elements into here and make this really cool looking title that lets the users select the value that they want for that number of days without taking up too much room on the report. So let's hop into Power BI Desktop. So now I have that same chart in front of me. And to start with, I want to be able to change this title up here from 15 days to putting some little slicer box up here that once published will let me input the number that I want. So to start with, I'm going to come up to Modeling. I'm going to select new what a parameter. I'm going to call this rolling average days. The minimum I'm going to say is, you know, I want no less than seven days as my minimum. My maximum, I'm going to say 99. So a very big window for that, the increment of one. Uh, let's say the default. Let's go ahead and put that for a seven day average as well and say add slicer to this page. So select OK. There we are. Now by default, it creates a very big slicer, but we're going to tweak and toggle this a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down, move this over here, and let's go ahead and come up to the selection pane, nope, not the selection, the visualizations pane, and I'm going to go over, over to that format painter right here, and I'm going to toggle a few things on this. Now to start with, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the slicer header. I'm going to turn that off. I'm also going to go to general and turn off responsive. And a few of the things that I want to actually do in here, so I'll put that there so you can see the box. So that with that being done, I'm going to go to numeric inputs. And I'm going to set the background to the same color as the title over here, which is this blue. There we are. So that box is going to be there. And then the font family, let's go ahead and put that to bold. Maybe make it a little bit bigger, like let's say 10. So I can put a number in there so we can observe that. Let's put seven in it. All right. So, and I'm going to come over to font color make that white. There we go. And now what we can actually do is that eventually will sit over here and you can actually shrink this box down a lot to get it to fit as you would want to have as your value in here. So let's get this nice and small. There we go. And put that seven in there. And that can sit basically right up here in the corner. And what we want to make sure to do as well, now that that's been formatted, is come up to the selection pane and move that in front of the chart itself. So there we are. Perfect. And let's go ahead and update this formula that's in here. So this is going to come over here. I'm going to go to my DAX formula. That page use rolling average, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this minus six with the rolling average days value that is coming from my what if scenario. Go ahead and adjust that into there. And I'm also going to say times minus one, because you'll notice if I go back a couple steps, that is a negative number. That rolling average that I've specified is not actually doing negative numbers. It is just giving you the number range of number of days you want the average to be across, but that is a positive number that's being returned by default. So I will make sure to put the rolling average days value in here and multiply by minus one to give that correct number in there. There we go. So now as I type in eight or 15, as you can see, my numbers are changing in here. So now the thing that I wanna get rid of here is that number that's in front of it. So I could continue to keep the 15 days in there, but what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna select the chart. I'm gonna to go to the format painter. I'm gonna to go to title. I'm actually gonna get rid of the 15 down here. I'm gonna put a period in there and give that a couple spaces, maybe a couple more, one more. There we go. So a little bit of a space gap in there just to make sure that there's no actual number being returned in front of that. And with that layer on top, that fits in there nicely to show at the very beginning of that title. Now, the other thing you might notice is that if I select this, 
it makes that number go away. So I don't really like that as much because this does have a background color on it. So to avoid this, what we can actually do is another little trick. I'm gonna come over to the Format Painter, I'm gonna turn off the background here, which now makes it blend in with the background I have on the page, and I don't want that either. So I'm gonna go up to the Home tab, I'm gonna to go to Text Box, I'm gonna create a new text box that's actually gonna be the same size as this one essentially right here. Oop. Go ahead and turn on background color, put that transparency here, there we go. And then turn on snap to grid under the view tab. And all I wanna do is make this about the same size, there we go. And now if I click on the visual, it doesn't actually let you edit that anymore, but it doesn't go away. So, I mean, it's the one small caveat is that the only way you can click that box is if you don't actively select this visual, but it does at least make it look a little bit better when you do, even though you can't click that until you deselect the option. And the reason I still have the title here turned on is I want the option for the user to be able to full screen it using the expand button. And that about covers it. This is a fun way to create a dynamic title header, or again, the appearance of one, allowing a very small footprint to allow a user to edit the numbers that they want to do that rolling average by. So I hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments or have a suggestion for a future video, please add that to the comment section below. And if you're a first time viewer or wanna see more of these videos, please click that subscribe and bell button. And you'll find all sorts of links and resources down in the description section to other things that I've created and other cool files and templates as well. Otherwise, I will see you in our next video.